Hey all, here are OS Reviews. In this video, we're taking a quick look at the Oton S1. This is a smart floor lamp that has a 2-in-1 design. There is a head on the top that can produce some ambient light in the room, and there's also a RGB strip along the tube section that can act as a corner light if you place it against two walls, giving a little bit more of a colorful, modern aesthetic. This particular model is smart because it has built-in Wi-Fi, so you're able to control it using smart home assistants including Amazon's Alexa, as well as the Google Home Assistant, and it has various different color temperatures that you can set it to using the companion app, making it a little easier to control, or you can also use a remote. I'll also mention that this company does have a few other variants of this lamp available, so depending on configurations like if you need the Wi-Fi app control and also whether you want RGB versus just a white light, you can find differences in the price range as well. The light also comes in both black and white colors, so it's pretty easy to fit into various rooms, decor, and for customization as well. So here is kind of a quick example. That interesting head on the very top, which is pointing upwards, is trying to simulate the sky. And on our channel, we're no strangers to unique lighting products and lamps, some of which have had some viral success, including the sunset projection lamps, mirror lamps, not to mention some of the products from Govi, which introduced the RGBIC, vibrant gradient color effects, onto the market. So only time will tell whether this will also achieve a similar level of success. It does come in a surprisingly small box, because it does require a 15-minute assembly, at least that's the advertised time that it takes, and on the inside, you'll find a quick start guide that also includes a QR code that you can scan to watch back a step-by-step -step video instruction for installation. And further underneath here, we have all the different components, the various tubes. It's a flexible string of LEDs, very similar to rolls of RGB LED lights that you can also find for doing DIY projects, but this time it just plugs into the lamp here and you're ready to go. There's also going to be the power supply, pretty standard stuff. And also down below here we have a remote control. If you want to use this instead of the companion app, it takes two AAA batteries. Of course we've got the aforementioned 16 screws as well as the screwdriver for assembling everything together. Very similar to IKEA furniture. And then on the very bottom it looks like there is also another weighted piece crafted out of metal. It is quite heavy to prevent the light from falling over uh, when you are setting it down. So it looks like the other piece we saw from before was actually the head, uh, the skylight essentially. So there is a kind of lighting piece on the very top and of course this part can move on its hinge. Alright, so the process is indeed really simple and straightforward because all the components are also labeled A, B, C, and D. So we can tell that the, for example, N here that says A should align with the other part that says A on here as well. And so if we flip it around, you'll see that there is kind of a, another moving piece. All we need to do is just slide it in and snap these two pieces together, aligning it with some of these screw slots that you see there. And as a result, just pop in these screws to secure it into place, and then do the same thing for the other two ends. And now fully assembled and plugged into power, it just pops onto life. Again, with that interesting skylight piece in the top, it illuminates the ceiling, whereas the corner lamp section will illuminate kind of the walls behind it, just casting a pretty interesting glow, especially if you have a uh, kind of white colored wall and sandwich in between again a corner is where it really shines and just makes the effect feel a little bit more dramatic and modern. So using the remote control you're able to cycle through some of the properties. By the way this is currently at 100% maximum brightness which is actually pretty good. You're able to kind of fully enjoy the room that you're in in terms of even doing some reading and work uh, without too many issues. But you can also turn the brightness down. So this is the brightness control for that skylight. You can tell it getting dimmer and dimmer until it drops off into the minimum setting here if you're going to sleep for example. There's also kind of a shortcut for that in the middle of the remote that just has a moon icon. If you tap on that it will also turn off the corner lamp piece automatically to help you fall asleep. Alternatively, you can change the brightness of the RGB lights of the corner lamp section yourself. This is kind of the minimum that it reaches if you still want a faint glow, as you can tell. Pretty easy to customize, and as far as built-in effects are concerned for the RGB light strip, you're able to go into a single shade of color if you want something uh, to pick between. Here's a more dramatic red, yellows, and greens, all looking quite good for a single color. Or you can go into a dynamic mode key down below here, which will ripple into different colored effects. This is going to be more of a party mode an ambiance piece, but it is a RGBIC light, meaning it's able to create different colors and transition effects and not just have only one shade on at a single time. Here's another one which is 
kind of an interesting animated pattern that is rippling from the bottom to the top uh, using those colors as you can tell there. Once more again, has a similar effect except now it's bouncing up and down until it reaches the bottom, then bounces up again, changing colors every time that it bounces. And then once more here, kind of starting in the middle and then rippling downwards and upwards as you can tell, also looking quite neat. And if we change the animation once more, it's another kind of party mode, but this one is a softer color shade. A palette is a little bit closer to white. And another one here returns into the rainbow gradient that we started off from, which I think is probably my favorite out of the ambient modes built on in. There's also a music reactive mode using a built-in microphone. So this will detect how loud your environments are. And then as a result, it'll be able to reproduce the varying light. If you have a speaker nearby playing back some music or watching a video, this is going to be a mode that you can trigger and play with. There's also a one hour countdown timer, so it will turn everything off after that set time. And now for the kind of sky lamp portion, I'll also mention that the shades of white can also be adjusted, whether you want something colder versus warmer. So right now we're at kind of a neutral shade, but I can also tap again, turning it a little bit more cold, as you can tell there, until it reaches a bit more of a bluish temperature. And now going to the warmest glow, reminding me of candlelight. And also, yes, the sky lamp portion has a pivot hinge, which allows you to rotate it. So here's a quick example. I'm going to try pulling it down. You can tell it holds the position, and now it's acting as kind of a brighter source that is illuminating and pointing directly at you if you want that extra brightness versus kind of making the room around you brighter as well. So you can flip it upwards or downwards and also in the opposite direction as well, as you can tell there. Here's also a quick look at the optional companion app, which is called Smart Life, aka Tuya uh, app. It's a universal one found with other smart home appliances that we've seen in the past, including smart locks, but it all binds using the same app and you just have to turn on location services and Bluetooth and it will find the nearby Anton Smart Lamp. The app unlocks even more customization options and you're able to connect it to your home network, perhaps in your office, and ahead of time turn on the lamp uh, as long as it's connected to the internet. And from here you're able to again change properties like a night mode for sleeping. A party will then turn on both the uh, top as well as the corner lamp portion as you can tell there with a more ambient touch versus rhythm is going to be the reactive mode. So you can play around with um, all of these different profiles on here and using the companion app you can even see a real-time visualization of the audio being picked up by the microphone working quite well. Now you can also change the brightness controls in a more precise way on the app here. For example, turning it up all the way to 100% as well as increments in between. Over here we can also create a countdown timer. So aside from the one hour that we mentioned earlier, you can also set it to just increments of say one minute, 30 minutes, two hours, so on and so forth. There's also kind of a do not disturb aka lock mode if you want to prevent accidental triggers on the remote and then it will only be active again once you flick off the do not disturb lock. Tapping inside of the bars here including the auxiliary corner lamp portion allows you to go into more transition effects than what the default carousel that we saw earlier provided. For example, here's one called Iceland Blue uh, that goes through some different shades that are all in this bluish color. This one here called Glacier Express offers some more greens. This one here called Sea of Clouds, Fireflies at Night. Greenland, so on and so forth. So a lot of different options, late autumn, can all be triggered using the customization here from the app. So if you want more of those effects based on different seasons and holidays, you will likely find that here. And it is pretty exhaustive. So the entire list here just goes kind of further down. Of course, you can create your own as well, similar to products from Devoom as well as Govi that we have seen in the past, which have a similar level of customization, you are able to find that here or all of these different presets that are categorized under things like life, festival, mood, and then again further decorating based on your preferences, including rhythmic as well as single shades, and again visualizing what those single colors that you're trying to combine together will look like. Maybe the only slight con compared to the aforementioned Govi uh, similar corner lamps we've seen in the past is there is no kind of magnetic mount built into the lamp itself for attaching the remote onto it. So you have to use your own Velcro straps or just place it onto a table nearby. But speaking of that comparison, this corner lamp is definitely one of the larger ones when it comes to height uh, compared to the similar RGB corner lamp from Govi. It is about, I would say, a feet or so taller so if you have a slightly larger room to fill, it actually seems to be a little bit more spacious and just easy to spot from afar, providing a little bit more 
output in terms of brightness as well because of the additional LEDs in the tubes inside. And of course, the GoV alternative does not have the sky lamp portion. So overall, pretty effective and a cool ambience as well as room lamp in general. You can check out more details if you are interested in the links down below. But for now, that's been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews. That's been the Otron Smart Floor Lamp.